What's going on everybody? Logan here for a new video. Today I have a very interesting story for y'all. Last Tuesday a ship, a container ship carrying 37 Porsches, which for the Porsches they were the 911 GT2 RS model, which as y'all know costs about $300,000. Now the ship sank about 100 miles away from France and it was in 15,000 feet of water. Uh, it actually ran aground, which kind of tells you that it hit one of those random uh, islands that kind of pop up in the middle of the ocean. I know they're kind of weird, but uh, survey teams, they try to identify all those so that things like this don't happen, but they ran aground, uh, the uh, crew, they issued a mayday, and they actually evacuated the ship, and the uh, the Royal Air Force, or the Royal Navy, they actually came into the rescue and saved all 27. Uh, there were no fatalities, the only injuries were uh, smoke inhalation, because they did try to fight the fire, uh, but it just got away from them. Now, when Porsche learned of this, they sent a letter to all their customers in Brazil, because that's where the ship was headed to. Uh, the letter said, we're sorry to inform you, due to a fire a Grimaldi Group ship that was transporting your vehicle sinked on March 12, 2019. And for that reason, your GT2 RS cannot be delivered. As you may know, Porsche ended the 911 GT2 RS production on February 2019, and under no normal circumstances, it wouldn't be possible to give you another car. But due to the nature of the situation, and considering that you're a loyal and highly valuable customer for our brand, Porsche has decided to resume the GT2 RS production in Germany, and your vehicle will be produced in April with delivery scheduled for June. We recommend you contact your local Porsche Center for further information. This is great news for the customers, and honestly, that makes these cars, these four GT2 RSs that will be produced, that much more rare. Uh, I mean, they already cost $300,000, but with this happening, these will instant. I mean, personally, I think they're going to become instant collector cars because they're going to be the replacements for the four original that are at the bottom of the ocean. And no, don't think that there is a fortune at the bottom of the ocean because th all those cars absolutely ruined uh, 15,000 feet water with the pressure and just the water damage alone, those cars are ruined. Other Porsche models that got ruined were the 718 Caymans, uh, some Boxsters, and also some Cayennes. So it wasn't just the 911 uh, GT2 RS that was ruined, it was those as well. Uh, and on top of that, there were a ton of Audis. Uh, those included like Audi A3s, A5s, RS4s, RS5s, and Q7s. So this was a very expensive fire. Uh, I mean, it sucks that it happened, but I'm sure that all those cars are insured, so no one's really out of any money besides the insurance companies. Uh, and hey, there's no loss of life, so that's at least one good side of the story. Now, there was 2,200 tons of heavy fuel uh, that is in the Atlantic Ocean now because of this, but there are ongoing cleanup efforts now, so they're at least trying to get it cleaned up. But there were over like 2,000 cars that sank overall, so it wasn't just Porsche and Audi that were affected. Uh, I mean, this is a crappy situation all the way around, but like I said, all it is is insurance payouts, so there isn't too much loss here. I mean, especially since there was no loss of life. I mean, I'd say this isn't really a bad story. But that is it for this video. Uh, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.